Hi, I'm Chris Cheddar. Welcome to My Swing Evolution. Hey, Team MSE. Hope everybody's doing great. That was Chris Cheddar. And if you don't know who Chris Cheddar is, you might want to Google her because she is kind of like a lost link in the chain that is so important for all of us when it comes to Mr. Hogan. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But I wanted to let everybody know that I've been down here in Florida for two weeks celebrating with my dad who just had his 88th birthday. Now, uh, my dad taught me the game of golf, and uh, it was really a great pleasure to be able to go to the driving range and golf course and let him see that I can actually hit a golf ball, because uh, when my ship went, uh, went down on the rocks for a couple of decades, he was seeing me struggle, and what he always told me was I was just too quick, too quick. Um, but, uh, you know, I've worked it all out and, uh, I'm happy to say that he approves of my current golf swing. And I also got to see my brother, Don, who was my great inspiration. Donald's a golfer that, I mean, his lowest score ever is 67. And, you know, he's just oh, always had the same classic swing since I can remember. He's just done the same thing and it's never been a challenge to him. He's one of that 2% that I talk about that just gets it. And uh, it's never been too much trouble. He's focused on scoring his whole life. Um, but at any rate, I want to bring you up to speed on a couple of things. So uh, my swing evolution, when you go to the website, you know, I've got uh, a lot of things going on. and I'm trying to get into golf as a business. And really what my swing evolution is, is my new company, MSC Productions, where I'm creating video projects and things. So um, obviously I have the Hogan code. If you want to support my swing evolution, I think it's the best money you can buy. It's cheaper than a dozen golf balls, and it's all the information that helped me to improve my swing. I really think it's groundbreaking. But I've got a number of other original projects that I have in development. Uh, it's, it's pretty exciting, to be honest with you. Um, I think I'm going to be making some of the very best golf productions that are available. So uh, that's one of the things I'm really excited about. But I wanted to let everybody know that in a month, May 20th through the 22nd, I am holding the very first MSC training camp at Borrego Springs Resort and Spa out in, out in uh, Palm Springs. It's going to be totally, totally awesome. This is a, a pretty big deal. Uh, this is going to be a full weekend of training and golf and celebration. It's going to be totally, totally cool. And uh, I will be making a video out there because I've been planning on filming a new instructional video that just focuses on the drills that I want to do. Um, and I was going to add it to the Hogan code, but it was already an hour and 41 minutes long. And I was like, I can't make a, de a, a download that's two and a, nearly three hours long. You know, so I'm going to make a, a different video um, that goes along with the Hogan code. And uh, don't worry, I'll discount it for everybody that's already bought the Hogan code. And uh, it's going to help you to be able to know exactly what to work on to drill your Hogan swing. And I'm going to be doing it with a bunch of folks out in the desert. So the best place to probably keep up with it is on Facebook. I'm going to be creating a new flyer. We'll have a section on the MySwingEvolution.com website as well. So you can... Uh, Figure out if it fits your schedule. If you want to come in for a day, that's fine. You want to come in for two days, that's fine. If you want to come in for the whole weekend, you can get the exclusive package and stay at the house with us. You know, it's going to be a really, really cool time. So uh, at any rate, now let's talk about Chris Cheddar for a second. In 1983, Chris went to Texas Christian University and she got a practice membership at Shady Oaks Country Club. That's where Ben Hogan was a member. Now, the instructions were very uh, clear for uh, members like herself that they weren't supposed to speak to Mr. Hogan. They were supposed to give him his space and let him do his own thing. Well, Chris worked really hard on her game, and wouldn't you know it, one day Mr. Hogan steps out onto the tee and says, how you hitting them? Well, Chris became a friend of Mr. Hogan for the next 15 years, and he coached her through college and onto the LPGA Tour and even into the lead in the U.S. Women's Open at Colonial, which is Hogan's Alley, and nobody knew it. Chris kept it a secret through her whole career and eventually wrote a book called Mr. Hogan, The Man I Knew. And we're going to be offering this book at MySwingEvolution.com in the very near future. 
So this is a tremendous honor that she's going to be working along with all of us that are trying to learn the Ben Hogan golf swing. So we've got Chris Cheddar. We've got you know, Greg McHatton. We have the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company providing us with anything we need to know about Ben Hogan Golf Clubs. My Swing Evolution is really making some moves, and I'm so proud of our community that we're building. So I'll leave you now at this point with some words from Chris Cheddar about what it's like to actually hang around with Ben Hogan. my book, Mr. Hogan, The Man I Knew, and I'm going to be doing a Skype interview one of these days. Uh, and I don't know, I just hope that uh, you guys will listen and hope that you get to know Mr. Hogan, get to know the Mr. Hogan that I knew. I'll tell you some stories and uh, I don't know, hopefully you'll learn something that you don't know about him. Yeah, I met him in 1983, my first year at Texas Christian University, and I knew him until he died in 1997. Wow. What would you like people to know about him that isn't too commonly known? I think the thing that people don't realize about him is what a great sense of humor he had. He was very funny, very, very dry wit, very quick. And uh, do you think anybody knew the golf swing better than him? Uh, that's a really good question. It's an interesting question because he really did what he needed to do to hit the ball well. And turns out it was classic. It's uh, one of the greatest swings ever. And, uh, I, but he worked a lot from feel. It was, I, he, how do I say this? Uh, what he felt like he did and what he did were sort of two different things. Um, one day I was, I was trying to do something, trying to hit the ball, and he kept telling me, you know, try this, try this, and I kept saying, that's not what you do, and he was adamant that that was what he did. So I asked him if I could film his swing, and I did that, but then he didn't want to see it. <laughs> The greatest swing in history and he... So, so I never could prove to him that he wasn't doing what he thought he was doing. But whatever he did, I guess he did it right, huh? Yes, he did. Awesome. Well, I look forward to doing a, a Skype interview with you, so thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it too.